Hi everybody, it's your girl Wandika, originally from Jamaica, and today I want to show you five more ways I get inspired. First things I want to talk about is going to the art supply stores and many times I just go to look to see what's new what do they have especially new crafting ideas so going to Hobby Lobby and right now I'm in Michael's it's always an interesting experience because you never know what you're gonna see and I gravitate to the crafting section with the stamps a lot or other times I might go to the paint section to see what types of paints they have maybe they have some new types that I've never tried before you know so it's always fun for me just going around looking at items getting ideas for future work that I'm gonna do I just got some great items from Michaels and it works every time that you know even if I don't buy anything I just love to go to the art supply stores and look around and see what they have and many times I'll leave with an idea about what I'm gonna do another way is I love to look at instructional books even though I am way more advanced than where I was nine years ago, I still like to look at those watercolor books, those, and especially now that I am interested in mixed media, I find myself looking at those books as well. So I have books on several different things that I like to look at from time to time. Um, especially watercolor because that's my area but I still like to look at other things as well you know even when I went to Michael's the other day I still you know, look around to see if there's any other book that I'd be interested in getting looking at books is really important when you are struck for ideas especially when you know other artists are able to talk about their technique and using new items and another way is for me to connect with people online and so if you know about any art organizations or any groups on Facebook that can really inspire you as it has inspired me because a few weeks ago I found out about the art journal workshop Facebook group and there's the art journal junkies group and since joining that group my output I think has grown maybe by 40 to 50 percent because you feel very comfortable and compelled to join a dialogue and to share your work to look at other people's work and you're communicating with people online and in our day and age it's really something that is very accessible <laughs> is also an online resource which is looking at those videos um, maybe you maybe you can connect with artists that way as well but when I was just getting started apart from getting the books looking at those books and learning about technique seeing it demonstrated is really great so maybe um, some of my demonstrations can help you as it has helped me to look at other people's demonstrations on YouTube, um, videos, whatever area you're able to see those kinds of demonstrations and tutorials. Um, and the final thing I would say is the face-to-face -face meetings with other artists. When I was starting 
that was very instrumental because I can't say enough about how communicating with somebody face to face, seeing their work, touching their work, looking at it, inspecting it, having them look at your work, it's just, it can't be compared. And so I think that while it's good for you to also have that online connection with a large group of people, you can have that more intimate painter to painter kind of interaction. And since I've been in Lafayette, I haven't been able to find any painting groups. But if you have been able to find somewhere you live, I'd recommend that you go there, connect with other artists on a very personal level. Um, when I was in Jamaica, that really helped me. Even when I was a lecturer teaching English, I found people in the art department. I would go and talk to them about art and show them some of my work. And we'd have that exchange. And they'd tell me about exhibitions. They'd tell me about some of the things that they felt like my work needed to do. And, you know, so it's always great to have that connection with other artists and so that has really mobilized and you know motivated me in the early stages and now <laughs> another way is to go to exhibitions trust me when i just started that was in that was one of the catalysts in my becoming an artist today is to go and to see what other people have done and you feel compelled you feel motivated and i still do it i still go to the art walks that they have here in lafayette go and you see so many different types of work you know from jewelry to pottery to paintings to you know so many different things that i can't say enough that how inspiring that is so i would recommend that if there is a gallery near you or there are several galleries or if they're having painting in the park or if they're having any kind of exhibition you should go see what's out there you will probably be blown away by the possibilities and that has worked for me all right, so thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is the first time you've come to my channel, please subscribe, please hit the button below, um, or click the one here. Go to my website, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Tumblr, I'm on Facebook, and check it out, become a member, like this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time. What good?